Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. There are many things that I love about WordPress, none more so than the wonderful ecosystem that supports our glorious platform. I mean, as a free starting point to make your web creation dreams come true, there is literally nothing that comes close to WordPress, in my humble opinion. Zero zilt nada. Uh, you know, plugins, simple stuff that should perhaps some of it be in core to monster plugins that can turn your simple WordPress website into some sort of SaaS platform. It's just incredible what you can do with WordPress. And as all the other stuff which you need as a freelancer or agency or even as a DIYer, the utilities, the security, the integration services, communications and infrastructure and hosting, which nicely brings us on to today's topic and one of my favorite contributors to WordPress, which is Insert WP, who took the WordPress world by storm in 2021 when they introduced a new way of spinning up a fully fledged WordPress install in literally seconds without you having to have a server or a host or any of that stuff where you could test configs and plugins and themes or just muck about with WordPress. I mean, it was just brilliant at the time, really did smash it. And did I tell you it was also free, still is free in the most part, but since then, wow, it has developed into what can only be described as a very mature and fully featured all-in-one platform for WordPresses. And in today's video, it is my pleasure to take you through some of the reasons why I think it is most certainly a perfect platform for freelancers. So get yourself onboarded, get yourself logged in, and this is what you'll have. You'll have a dashboard on InstaWP. And here's my dashboard. And let's go and check out feature number one, where it all began the staging. So yeah, back in 2021, this tour through the WordPress community, a staggeringly free and amazing product. Click a button, click another button, click another button. We've got a website. We've got click another button to log in magically. And look what we've got. We've got a just launching as we speak an entire brand new WordPress website to muck about with. We can test plugins. We can test themes. We can build client sites, we can build demos. It's a fully fledged, ready to go WordPress install for you to do what you want with. No server setup, no nothing. Let's have a look at some more of the features. If we go to our staging list here, see there's our new site. We've got this magic login button here. You can reserve it. That means it won't expire. You can create a template, more about that in a second. You can go live with it, more about that in a second. Tons of features like configs and command line and tools, database editor, code editor, some stats and all that sort of stuff. And this is all straight out of the box for you for free. Right, so we spoke about templates on our new athletic mouse site here. So what I have in my workflow is a blueprint for all sites pretty well di there's different blueprints for different types of sites but primarily a wordpress site standard would have my ch my regular theme a bunch of plugins that i always use a load of default pages the theme set up how i like it deep bit of a default header default footer perhaps a ton of wireframes so then i can start literally building out stuff from the get-go and this is what we say we would do here with our site we just created once we've got that we could turn that into a template my starter, save that. And so every time now when you when you get a new gig, a new website to build, you go to your staging, you add new, you save from template, you click my starter, give it a name, Acme Project, and you're away and off to the races yet again. No mucking about, you're working from the get-go. Templates are awesome things. So we're talking about staging, but as it stands, these are just sort of standalone sites in theory. The next feature is Connect. So this is actually where you get real proper staging. So Connect is using this plugin here that you pop onto your live site and in your Insta dashboard, you connect a site, stick in the URL, connect it, and then you've got a real proper pro staging environment where you've got a two-way sync. You pull from the live site, you make the edits, you push to the live site. Plus you can do things like remote management of files and a database manager and update plugins and themes and all this sort of stuff. And it's really, a pro I mean, it literally is a pro, if you haven't got staging on your hosting or your client doesn't have staging, this is your solution for that. And talking about hosting, more in more recent times, InstaWP itself has got specialist hosting. Now, don't get me wrong, on our staging, if we look here, we have got an option to 
map domain that this means we can point our domain you know jackson.co at one of our staging sites or temporary sites on insta and use it like a regular hosting account absolutely epic but if you want something a little more powerful then we can use the hosting from insta wp itself put this on a independent hosting account so for example you finish your work the client signs it off you want to start hosting it for them you click go live we get the Insta WP option here. Next step, we choose a plan for them. And by the way, most medium sized websites will only need this starter plan and check out the features, two CPU, 25 gig, 400 visitors a month. I mean, that literally is more than any medium sized business could hope to get. Hourly database backups, daily, daily everything, built in CDN, built in web application firewall. This is really good stuff. And this is just if you have one site hosted with Insta, if you knock it up to two, it automatically drops down to 12. I mean, you should be charging your clients at least 20, 25 bucks a month for this kind of service. And if you get all your clients on there, 10 plus sites is only nine bucks. This is good. This is as good value as you could probably get for pro WordPress hosting. Very good stuff. But there is more. If you have got your own standalone bare bones server using one of these platforms, let's have a look at those. You can actually use RunCloud, which is a sort of control panel, to actually act as a full-on interface control panel for your bare bones server. So if you've got Google Cloud, DigitalOcean, Linode, that kind of stuff, get one of those servers. And then for 12 bucks a month with InstaWP, you can control all of it from within your InstaWP account. Absolutely wonderful. Plus, if you wanted to push it to your client's hosting or a completely different place, then you can use the migration option here, which is basically, let me grab that. It is the same plugin that's used in the staging setup. So get that on there, install it, stick your URL in, and you're pushing your dev site to your other remote hosting. Really ace. I mean, ridiculous, some of this stuff. There are tons more features, way too many to get into, but for you more Devi folk out there, there's stuff like command line interface and integration with Git and GitHub, all that juicy Devi stuff. And there is one other feature, which is, I just did want to touch on, which is this WAS feature of InstaWP, which is website as a service, allows you to sell pre-made templates coupled with hosting. Want to create your own SaaS product? Do it with InstaWP. So basically you create themes or website setups, e-commerce shops, whatever you like, and you can sell them with hosting as a kind of SaaS product. A bit like having your own Squarespace or Wix. That's what we're talking that's what we're talking about almost here. Anyway, way too much other good stuff to talk about, but that's just touching on the core stuff that is InstaWP. Link is in the description to go and check out InstaWP for free. Some of those awesome features are awaiting you. Give it a spin and let me know in the comments below how you get on with it. But until next time, I shall see you later.